first question you'll ask yourself, why is he wearing a hood inside? Cause it's gonna rain, duh. I just wanted to make a video about something that has been on my mind for a while, and that is the friend zone. Oh Jesus, he's gonna talk about the friend zone. He must be butt hurt because he's in the friend zone. Yeah, basically. <laughs> But the main thing I have a problem with is just, it, it's stupid. I mean, really, it's stupid. And I'll tell you why. In my opinion, this is all my opinion, if a boy or a girl is good enough to be your best friend or your friend, but not your boyfriend or girlfriend, that means that you are solely rejecting them on a commitment and relationship level because of their looks. And I think I was about to die there, so that, that's what that noise was. Because when you really think about it, boyfriends and girlfriends are basically just friends that you're intimate with. And in turn, when you kind of reject a guy or a girl, it's just like it, you're being shallow and you're not giving that person a chance because of how they look or something like their background or their money problem. I don't know. Some, some bitches be gold diggers. I... But of course, I'm going to go over the fact that, yeah, not all friendships can have a potential to be relationships. I'm talking about when a guy or a girl has feelings for the other person. I'm not talking about when the two people have no feelings for each other more than friends like that. But with that said, I feel as if everyone deserves some sort of chance. Now, not everyone deserves a relationship shot right away. You should give that person some, like... A shot like to be there for you as a boyfriend or girlfriend would I'm not it's just you'd be surprised how well it could go by just letting your really Spotify you're gonna give me an ad while I'm trying to make a video you'll be surprised how your feelings could change towards your guy or girl friend if you just let them in because the thing is all of the guys or girls that are put in the friend zone are genuinely good people. It seems like only the douchebags and the whores and the sluts are the ones who don't get friend zone. It's the people who are good who always get to get put in that position. And I can't talk today, oh well. But it's us guys and us girls in the friend zone who treat you well, they're always there for you, they always have your back, they always comfort you, they're always your shoulder to cry on. It hurts us when we see that you're with a guy or a girl who treats you like total garbage. Which brings me to my next point, logic of girls and guys concerning pertaining to people who stay with their girlfriends or boyfriends even though they treat them like shit. Now you guys who are in that position may feel like you can't break up with that guy or girl. Actually bitch, you're wrong. You can. Why you can? Well. There are people out there who are willing to treat you as well as you should be treated. There's people out there who are good, people out there who are sweet and kind, that won't treat you like shit. You know who those people are? The people you put in the fucking friend zone!